My name is Leilani Serafin, and I'm in my first year of my first instructional design job, thanks to IDLE. I'd like to show you a tool that I use at work called IORAD. IORAD builds click-through tutorials, and it's free to use and really easy. I think it's a quick win for your portfolio. Use a Chrome browser to sign up for free. I signed up with my Gmail account and it was only one click. Then I added the Chrome extension to my taskbar, as you can see by looking at the pink square on my taskbar. That's the IORAD pink square. This tool is cloud-based, but you can download a desktop app as well if you need to use it on your desktop. You can use web capture to make tutorials about how to use a particular web platform like Rise, for example. Or you can use desktop capture to make tutorials about how to use a particular desktop app like Adobe Illustrator, perhaps. So let's look at how it works. You can start by clicking on your pink square Chrome extension, or you can click capture in the IRAD platform. If you're showing learners how to use a web platform, you can leave web selected. If you're showing them how to use a desktop app, you'll click desktop. For the purposes of this video, let's show learners how to add a cover image to their RISE course. So I'll leave web selected and click start web capture. From here, IORAD will tell you to click into the tab where you'll be making your tutorial. So I'll click into RISE. You'll see your pink square blinking throughout your web capture, and IORAD asks that you perform your actions slowly. They're trying to monitor uh, or record what you're doing on the screen for the purposes of making this tutorial. When you're finished, you'll click the blinking square. So I'm starting my web capture and I'm clicking into a sample RISE course so that I can show my learners how to add a cover photo to a course. I'm just gonna go about my regular process and let IORAD capture my movements. Once my process is complete, I click the blinking pink square and proceed to editing my tutorial. You can see several features in the editor window. First, you can see that I went through six steps to add this cover photo to my RISE course. You can see that in step one, I left clicked. If IORAD got that wrong somehow, I could edit it here. Then you'll see that IORAD auto-generated a description of what I did in this step. I think their auto-generated description is a little confusing, so I'm going to edit it now. You can also see that you have more options at the bottom of the screen. You can add audio if you want. You can mask sensitive content just as you could in Camtasia. You can add, duplicate, or delete a step if necessary. Sometimes you might get a little distracted in another tab while IORAD is recording your movements, and you might need to delete a step. So it's really simple to do it messy, as we hear a lot in IDLE. Once you're happy, you can select Preview and Finish. IORAD gives you the option to add text to speech, which I like to do as an accessibility feature, but you don't have to do that, just depends on your situation. Then you can see the final product. It's a really simple tutorial that you can either link or embed in your portfolio or some other website. You can even embed one of these tutorials in a RISE course for added interactivity. Once it pops up in your project list, you can continue editing it. You can share it, copy it, or categorize it as you desire. 
I haven't played around with the full functionality yet, but it looks useful for a variety of business situations. The company where I work is a tech startup, so Iorad is great because the UI of my company's product changes pretty frequently, and these tutorials will be relatively easy to update. Iorad is great for step-by-step -step tutorials, especially if the process is so complex that any screencast video you might produce would end up being too long. I'm noticing that at my job, some of the screencast videos we include in courses can be 10, 15, even 20 minutes long, and that's too long. So we think this is going to be a much easier tool for learners to follow along with. For job aids that need to be more conceptual, IORAD is probably obviously not the best choice, but if you just need to show your learners how to click through a process, this is the easiest tool I've seen, and thank you for watching.